Hello, we are Tavon and David from TD Adventures. While backing into our camping spot at Delanera RV Park in Galveston, Texas, our nice camping neighbors waved at us. We were intrigued by their rig. This was the first time we saw anyone sitting outside like that. We were like, wow. We went over, chatted, and Steve and Mo were so nice to give us a tour of their beautiful RV. Okay, you ready? I'll uh, video me climbing up oh. and then I'll go. All right, action. She made it. Okay. There you go. All right. Check this out. Look at you. Oh yeah. You are comfortable. That's the oh, name of the game, right? I love it. Look at that. That's how I want to sit. You're the first. Actually, you're the first RV that we see that's sitting out here like this. And look really? at your view, the ocean, huh? Yeah. So yeah, you're the first that. one. Yeah. Usually, I usually when we see. That's what we see, like the back of it, like that. Yeah. yeah. So we don't see a lot of mm -hmm. toy haulers. You said this is toy haulers. So maybe we don't toy. see a lot of those. We do see yeah. all kinds of pivot wheels. So. so then you can actually take all this down, uh -huh. and you can, so you can still see out. Oh yeah. But when, when she comes in, we're gonna have to jump that down so she can do that. Oh yeah. So these actually fold up into the wall, so when you oh, want to bring your golf cart in, all of this goes up against the wall. Oh, wow, really? You should probably give the tour, Steve. Yeah, come, oh, Steve. Steve does everything. Oh, you know everything, yeah. Come, Steve. Okay, so. Okay. Well, if you want to see part of this, I mean, I'll race okay, this sure. Up, this and pose that quick, both of them. Okay. So then if you want to fold them up, it's that quick, you just hold these over and you latch them down. Wow. So, yeah. and then you no. got a sofa again. Wow. And like this. Oh. Wow, look at this. And it'll come all the way down. Mm hmm Wow. Look at that. So much room, huh? Yeah, it really makes a lot of room. And we have 10 foot high ceilings. Wow, yeah. Look at that. And then the cabinets. Yeah. You know, they're very industrial, but nice and solid. Mm -hmm. And you can hang off of these things. Yeah. Wow. So, but like I say, these are welded into the wall. This table folds up into the wall. Mm -hmm. And you can literally see this airline track system. Mm -hmm. We can move these down, the couches, whatever, wherever we want. So if you don't like where it's at, you can move it. Wow. Nice. And underneath this, you can see the airline track in the floor. Okay. You sit there, there, and there. So she had a John Cooper Works Mini Cooper. We could drive it up in here and strap it down. No kidding. Yeah. Wow. Wow. <laughs> and this table folds up. You know, it folds down out of your way. Mm-hmm. And then the, the freezer. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's fairly big. Oh, my. <laughs> wow, look at that. And then the refrigerator. It's decent size. Wow. That is huge. Yeah. Wow. And so then we have an oven. Oops. We have an oven here. Mm hmm Which we've never used. A three burner stove here. Mm-hmm. Wow. Convection microwave, 50-inch mm -hmm. TV, 
smart TV. We have, this has a DVD player built into it that will play on this TV or the one in the bedroom. Or um, you can play your, hook your phone up to it and play your music. Oh, nice. Yeah. It has a speaker there, a speaker back there, a speaker, two speakers outside. And it has a 300 and I think 20 amp um, booster, you know, amp on for it. Um, and then lots of cabinets in this thing. There's lots of space. Yeah. So. Oh, wow. Look at that, huh? And so they're everywhere. I mean, you got cabinets here, cabinets and there. And you open, they love to, people love to yeah. see it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You can open all of them. Yeah. Yeah. Very sturdy. Oh, yeah. Wow, look at the hinges look at on that. that. Oh, yeah. No, look. And it's. Wow. Dude. Yeah. I mean, that's, and, and they even show you on ATC that way. I mean, like, yeah, if you look yeah, at this, yeah. I mean, lots wow, of cabinet look space. At that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then we have the same thing over here. Wow. I mean, you lots still of have room. More room. You still have more room to put stuff in. And up in well, there, you can keep moving. Yeah, okay. if you want to, I mean, like, so yes. then you've got a cabinet here. Wow, look at that. Oops, sorry. Oh, here, here, here. Yeah. And then here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then you can go the bathroom. And then you have a nice wow. aluminum backsplash. Yeah, that is. Mm -hmm. And then this right here, this sink is nice if you want to get yeah, in there. That is nice sink. Wow, big too. And so you've got this that goes over one side, but we like this thing because you can set, you know, we dishes like that on there too. that are drying that just drip down in there. Yeah, we have this too and we love it too. Yeah. yeah. And then, of course, I think all of them have these. Yeah. Know. Nice. Very nice. Wow. Mm -hmm. And then you've got steps here. I think, you, I think you're going to like this bathroom. Oh, wow. So, again, in oh, here. Oh, my goodness. You have lots of storage. Mm -hmm. See that? Decent sized sink. Mm -hmm. Then more storage. Wow. And the shower, what we like about this shower is that this rod comes out to give wow. you a lot more room. Oh, yeah. Wow, look at that. And then when you want, it just folds back in. Oh, that is so cool. So, I mean, I can step out and you can go in there and get more video if you mm -hmm. want. And you've got the Max Air fans mm -hmm. there, one in the... I didn't point it out in there. Wow, look at this, huh? That is so nice. To look shut at... this door, I'm going to have to back up. Okay, yeah. That's the challenge. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. Yeah. two people on that stairwell. If you want to come in here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So then in here, you have more storage. So. Wow, look at that, huh? And then... Each one has its own nightstand. Mm -hmm. And so you have storage in here. Yeah. I nice. the bed and then the washroom. Yeah, garden. and then here. Right. And then that one. And mm. this, this, that side's exactly like this. Okay. And then if you turn here, there's washer dryer connections Whoa, in here. Whoa, we want to see that. So, you, you have washer and dryer here? Um, no, we don't have one in here, but it has it. Look. Oh, see? okay. For a hookup, huh? Yep. So you wow. Could you, you could. could if you're full-time living, you could put one in here. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it's, right now, we just use it for more storage. Wow. Look at that. Oh, man. So, wow. and then underneath this bed is even more storage. Whoa. Look at that. Oh, wow. Wow. So you went to pick this up uh, um, in, in Florida? In Claremont, Claremont, Florida. Oh, okay. Who makes this? Uh, ATC. ATC? And another TV here. Oh, uh, okay. ATC. ATC. Uh, an aluminum trailer company. And that TV hangs out here. Oh, yeah. That TV out there, you can 
literally takes off in like 30 seconds. Okay. And you can remount it. You can remount it right here. Mm -hmm. And the hookups are here for cable. Mm -hmm. And then you have power plugs there. Right, yeah. You show them the generator and yeah, yeah show us and everything. And this awning is 25 foot long. Ooh. Wow. Wow, look at how big the awning is. Yeah, wow, there. can you open it or no? Yeah. Okay, love to see it. Yeah, yeah, I'll open up the awning. Yeah, you can watch it, Mo. And because the sun is that way, Right, right. Look at that. Look at how big it is. Yeah. All right, that's good. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's awesome. And how long? How long? How long is this? 36 foot. 36 foot. Yeah. So here, we have pass-through storage, and this tray here holds 800 pounds. Wow. Wow, look at that. And so you have some of your stuff inside there. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, oh something came off. Piece of plastic. Uh, this right here. Oh. Watch out for your hand. Piece of trim? Yeah. Oh, it goes over that, I think. Okay. Maybe. I don't know. I'll have to figure hang, out what Hang on to it, yeah. I'll just set this here so I don't forget about it. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, so we have lights wow, in here. Wow, look at that. So if we wow. reach in here, you got a light on this end and on that end, so it's pass through. Yeah. So you so can, we can open up the door over there too, and this goes out that way as well. Oh, so it goes either way. Either way. Wow, look at that. And then this RV has a 36 gallon gas tank. Okay. So this is the fuel station here. So it has its own hose, wow. fuel pump. So for our, our, I mean, for our golf cart, which is gas, we can fill mm -hmm. that up. No way. From here. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Look at that. It has that, uh, that yeah. gas. It's just like at a gas station. Yeah. You know, you just pull it out wow. and you fill it up. <laughs> That's and pretty then, cool. If you don't want to, I mean, if, you, if you're if you running your generators or boom docking. Mm -hmm. So we have two 30-gallon propane tanks. Mm -hmm. And... We have a generator. Wow, look at that. And that runs the whole RV. Mm -hmm. And then here, we have an outside, you know, so you can hook up a hose and we mm -hmm. wash stuff out. Mm -hmm. And here's where the gas tank fill is. Mm -hmm. And we have an outside shower. Mm -hmm. Over here. Yeah. I've never used it. I've opened it once. Anyway. Yeah. There's an outside shower. That's outside, here. yeah. And this is for the black tank clean out. So you hook the hose up to this and you can clean out the black tank. Nice. Wow. Mm -hmm. And then like I was saying over here, that's where the gas tank is. That's where you fill it up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right there. So that this 36 gallon gas tank runs the generator. Mm -hmm. So you could boondock for quite a while. Yeah. Wow. And we have 200 gallons of fresh water, 45 black, 45 gray. Wow. I wish the new, this is a 2020, the 2021s have 90 gray and 90 black. Wow. Which if you go do boondocking helps. And then we have solar on the top. Yeah, you do. To keep our battery charged for our generator. You can wow. add more solar to run the RV at one. We don't boondock, so at least we haven't yet. Yeah. Right. But yes, it's aluminumtoyhauler.com. Yeah. And is there is there a model name? What model is this? Or is this, it? This is just what they call their they, 30, thirty-six foot fifth wheel. That's the only thing they make, right? Or for this? Well, one. they make they 
were making a 32 footer, but they stopped. So this, they have the 36 footer, the 40 footer and the 45 footer. Um, that's in their fifth wheels. Then they make pull behinds that are 20 foot all the way to, I think 29 foot. Mm -hmm. So they have 20 foot, I think 25 foot, 28 and 29. Wow. And that we were going to get the 29 footer pull behind until I walked inside and I saw the amount of room in the bedroom, the 29 footer, mm -hmm. literally the bed hits up against the wall. You can barely squeeze through. Mm -hmm. But this one, you can just stand up. This yeah. one I can like walk around the whole bed. Mm -hmm. So it makes a big difference. Um, and the 30, the 40 foot and 45 foot the bedroom is the same. So there's a shower. It's just longer back here. The mm -hmm. kitchen's the same, mm -hmm. you know, none of that really changes. You know, they all have that same big refrigerator. Mm -hmm. Same size, you know, stove and oven and convection oven. I mean, all the amenities are the same. They're just longer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So far, we've been happy with the length of this one, but I could see where somebody would want the 40 foot or 45 foot. But it's just that much longer you're towing. And, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Right. I've, already, I've already expanded both of my driveways at home. Um, I've widened them both to 40 foot. Mm -hmm. So I have two driveways and we're building a circle drive. Mm -hmm. So, Which when we widened them, we concreted all that. So I just spent 20 grand just putting in driveways. I'm not even done. <laughs> wow. Mm -hmm. Nice when you're done though. All concrete. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah, it's, oh, I mean, our driveway, we live on acreage, so our driveway is 350 foot long and it's all concrete. Wow. So I'm just making a circle drive now. Mm -hmm. okay, this is a 50 amp service? 50, it has 50 and 30. And I think 20. I think it has. You, you, you could do on 20. You can, I think, but you won't be able to run both AC systems. Yeah, yeah, that's the. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, right yeah, but I mean, if you're in that situation, if you were going to do that, then you could use the generator and we we bought this um as a business continuation plan we own our own business mm -hmm. and so if we because we get hurricanes here um if our house gets damaged we can live on this on our driveway i put 50 amp service on my driveway um which i i leave this plugged up all the time that's a good home. Yeah. good planning good, good idea. idea yeah mm -hmm. and yeah. so all i would do is just get fuel and keep bringing it back and keep filling this tank up you know mm -hmm. so yeah and i'm sure another thing i could do too is i mean i've got i put in a whole house generator at my house and we just put hurricane shutters on the whole thing so it should survive a storm but um if like i say if our house gets damaged enough we could live in this if we had to Mm -hmm. while we you know fix our home mm -hmm. a lot of advantages oh, yeah. but mm -hmm. i normally my i have an f450 dually to pull this with and uh, my truck's in the shop for a recall so this f250 by the way barely pulls this yeah mm -hmm. this doesn't have the own it doesn't uh, it has the same engine 6.7 liter diesel yeah but whenever i i think it's 3500 pound tongue weight I think so when I put it on um, you know hook it up to this it literally pushes the whole truck down yeah. the whole truck which was shocking I was like damn yeah. on my f450 it barely even pushes didn't it. notice it. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah but no yeah no we love it man it's um, fantastic yeah. even the walls are welded mm -hmm. so you're like you don't see any screws in the panels right yeah and the ceiling the roof is one piece of aluminum truck at 90 degrees to you know back this thing in and stuff yeah. oh and another thing it has a camera in the back oh really yeah while you're going down the road oh, wow right. really yeah so wow look at, look at that see what's going on behind you 
Nice. And some of the stuff that you see in this, the people we bought it from were a retired couple, lifetime RVers, but she got in a bad car wreck. She couldn't go over like 75 miles in a day anymore. Mm -hmm. So they just decided to get rid of it. But uh, they had a Toyota Miata, but they like, you know, if you see the diamond plate on the side walls, mm -hmm. that's, that's, I think a thousand or two thousand dollar upgrade. Uh, so that if you've touched the wall with your tire while you're pulling it around, it doesn't damage you, you know? What it doesn't year, scuff it up. What year is this one? 2020. 2020? Okay, yeah. Okay. And uh, like this? more money. You know, to have that carpet on it doesn't come with it. Right. Wow. Look at that. Mm -hmm. And these couches were more money. Those cabinets up there were more money. On the 2020s, the airline track and the bar were more money. 2021, it got standard. But the diamond plate does not. So what is the name of this? It's called Fifth Wheel. It's, it's a, made by ATC, yeah. Aluminum Trailer Company. Okay. Is and this is this called that. fifth wheel or this it's is the fifth wheel is just it's not bumper pull, it's just fifth wheel. Fifth so wheel this, yeah. toy hauler? Is that... Yeah, fifth wheel toy hauler. Okay, that's what okay, yeah. that's the name. Yeah, okay. And uh, you can catch the name on the sign. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So you see how they capitalize A go you know, the A and the toy yeah. and the yeah. dot com. Yeah. Right, right, yeah. yeah. So, and get something that doesn't require a lot of maintenance, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Just so. for the people looking at this, do you mind? Huh? Like, what's the price range on it? Um, this one here, we bought this used for 120 a 2020 model, but it had all the upgrades on okay. it. Um, you know, like the Happy Jack bed, all that kind of stuff. The only thing it does, like you can get a back porch for this. Mm -hmm. I mean, a, a fence. You know that just rolls right inside doesn't take up much space we were con we're considering buying one of those anyway but we were looking at a brand new one a 2021 and um msrp on it i believe was 190 something with all the options wow, really? so this was like you know seventy thousand less yeah yeah and they gave us several thousand dollars with the stuff that they had put in there and they just left it wow so and we took some of that out and we put some of our own stuff in Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you could probably, you know, with inflation and how everything's going right now, yeah. I don't even know if like a 2022 model, I don't know what they're going for, but I'm assuming 190 to two something mm -hmm. for the 36 footer. Mm -hmm. And of course, a, you know, 40 footer or 45 footer is going to be more. Look who's up there. Hey, Hello. Yeah, actually, I threw some food down on here one day, some bread, and they actually freaked her. I left, and they came inside, and they were inside eating bread crumbs off the floor. Really? Which she hates birds. So, oh, no. So that was not a good thing. These are air vents for whatever you put in. There's one here at the bottom, mm -hmm. and I didn't show you the one at the on the other side. You can see it from the inside. The air vent for what? For what? So you have stuff that has to get like that. Um, the golf cart is gas powered. Okay. So when you put it in there, if you have any leaks, gas fumes, while you're going down the road, it pulls air through at the top and comes uh -huh. out the bottom, so it pulls out any fumes as you're going. Okay. So so. To put that up, you, this thing goes down, yeah, right? You okay. Just, you just these. Oh, okay. And this comes all the way down the ground. And then you just drive it in. Mm -hmm. All the toy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, I mean, wow. people use these for like, you know, ATVs, motorcycles, their cars. So, if you've got a really big car, you might go for the 40 footer or the 45 footer. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And like with them having 10 foot high ceilings, you can get things that are taller. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So like our golf cart is not gonna be a problem to drive up in there. Mm -hmm. And we actually bought that golf cart while we were here. Really? We came on the 14th and we thousand dollars cash for it and they delivered it here while we were mm -hmm. sitting over there. <laughs> wow, how about that, huh? Yeah. I mean, we yes. were going to buy a golf cart, you know, for this anyway, so. Mm -hmm. Just, yeah, so I get to see how it's going to be loading that thing up in there when I leave here on Sunday. Right, or right. Monday. In the Can rain. we video you when you hook it up on your truck? Sure. Okay. All right. Yeah. We we're fascinated. Yeah, and it's uh, yeah. This, this has hydraulic 
you know, jacks. Uh -huh. So I don't have to crank anything. It's all hydraulics and it has um, self leveling. Yeah. But the, the guy I bought it from, he only used it twice. So he goes, I'm, he goes, it worked one time perfectly. The other time, he goes, I didn't like the way it did it. I used it twice. It worked great the first time leveling it. The second time, it did, it lifted the whole back tires off the ground. Mm -hmm. So I was like, eh, I don't like that. So I do it manually, like mm -hmm. he did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That works. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice. But yeah, no, it's a. Uh, We've enjoyed it so far, but nice. it's our first RV. We don't have any other experience. Nice. Wow. Well, we pull in, we're like, whoa, look at that. That's the first we ever seen yeah. sitting out on your deck, you know? Enjoying the sun. Yeah. Yes. And another thing, if you're interested in one of these, we oh, love good. this thing. Our daughter bought this horse for Christmas. It's this fire pit. Oh, yes. We love it. Have we that. seen it, the ad? What, uh, it, it, no it, smoke? It's no smoke, mm. and it's made by Solo or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I but see it. I you, see but it. the yes. trick is, is that you've got to get wood that fits inside of here. Mm -hmm. So, um, and as long as the wood, those pieces like that, because this is a small one, if they stick up above, you'll get some smoke. But okay. if not, because of these air vents here, mm -hmm. they have some down there, and then up here in the side. Where does and, the smoke go if you don't get smoke? I don't know how it does it. And wow. These are shortcut pieces. They, these are. That, yeah, I had not. some longer cut ones. I bought wow. these at that place I was yeah. telling you about in Lake City when I saw that they had bags of short ones because yeah. I have a little small battery powered chainsaw that I would just cut them with. Sure. Hey, wow, look, look at that. That's perfect. <laughs> nice. We like that. And we like this little table. Yeah, look at that, huh? So this it's, one is uh, collapsible. Yeah, so what it does is. See, this, mm -hmm. and it just folds up. Hang on, I just have to do it. I bet it goes this way. Or this. Anyway, it folds up real nice and neat. Right, yeah. Like that, and that folds up yep. very quickly, and it goes into a little bag and sets it on top of the cabinets. Nice, huh? And, and the little lip around the top of the cabinets, I didn't show you that, but it keeps, we keep stuff up there and it, nothing's ever, we towed this back a thousand miles and nothing fell off of there. Nice. Nice, huh? So. Wow. But yeah, but that's all there is to it. Yeah. Thank you for showing it to us. Thank you so oh, much. Yeah. We appreciate it. We're, we're very curious. Now yeah. Things are. Yeah. We looked at a few before we bought that. Nothing was the size. Yeah, we weren't <laughs> Well, quite honestly, quite honestly, we almost bought something like that. Oh, someone else came in. Yeah, we got another class yeah. B next door. Yeah. yeah. So we almost we were looking at the class B plus. Mm -hmm. right? yeah. That's right. We yeah. We were going to get a class B plus, and mm -hmm. I was looking at you know that Airstream Atlas yeah. and yeah. the um, Leisure vans, you know, mm -hmm. made by Leisure. Yep. Right. Right. Yep. Um, you know, they're B plus, but man, it was like a two or three year wait for those. So That's it, true. Yeah. They really started going up in price quite a bit. But then, you know, since I already had an F-450 for my business. Right. I already had that piece. Right. So I was like, well, I've got the truck, you know, and I was like, mm -hmm. you know, then when we park this, I don't have to worry about having another vehicle there. Right. You know, yeah. to go around it. No nope. Right. Off you go. Right. Yeah. We're just going, I mean, my truck's a beast, but, you know, <laughs> still, I mean, it's, my truck's bigger than your RV. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. But still, though, I mean, yeah. we still drive it around and, you know, take that everywhere. Well, we live so close to here, we just go on my wife's car. Yeah. Nice, yeah. Yeah. But, no, I like I liked the idea of being able to drive down the road, and if you have to go to the bathroom, you don't have to stop. Right, you right. Know, if whoever is passenger. Yeah. Right, yeah. yeah. I like the idea of that. Yeah. yeah. You know, or if you want to make a sandwich, you can. You know? Right. If, especially if you have a decent size RV that you're driving. There's pluses and minus to both. Yep. Yes, right, there is. yeah. But yeah, it was a hard decision which way to go. Mm -hmm. yeah. But thank God we have those kind of decisions. Yeah. I know, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Which of these two good things do I want to choose? Exactly. <laughs> right. Yeah. There's not a wrong answer. Maybe I'll buy one of each. <laughs> yeah, there you go.